Aladina James, Jimmy, Reciano, born Aladina Fradiano. November 14, 1913, June 29, 1993, also known as Jimmy the Weasel, was an Italian-born American mobster who was acting boss of the Los Angeles crime family. After his arrest in 1977, Fradiano became an informant and entered the witness protection program in 1980. He admitted to having killed five people. Later in life, he became a writer. Early life Fradiano was born in Naples, Italy, in 1913, later immigrating with his family to the United States, settling near Cleveland, Ohio. He was first arrested at the age of 19 on suspicion of rape, but was not charged. Two years later, he was acquitted of robbery charges, but in 1937, was convicted of robbery and spent more than seven years in an Ohio State Prison. Fraciano earned his nickname, Weasel, as a boy when from running from the police in the Little Italy section of Cleveland. A chase witness shouted, Look at that weasel run! And the police quickly attached the nickname to his criminal record falsely believing it was his alias. He was paroled in 1945, and moved to Los Angeles, California, where he associated with underworld figure Mickey Cohen. In 1951, he was arrested but later released in connection with the gangland-style slaying of two mobsters believed to have plotted to kill Cohen. In 1954, Fradiano was convicted of attempted extortion. He served six years and three months mostly at San Quentin State Prison. In 1968, he pleaded guilty to charges stemming from phony pay agreements with drivers at a trucking company he owned, and in 1971 he entered another guilty plea, this time for extortion. Fraciano married Jean in 1975, whom he had met in an airport in 1966. International Connections Fradiano was known to have global connections. One such connection was with Australian organized crime figures. In 1976, Australian criminal Murray Riley met with Fradiano in San Francisco, allegedly, to organize drug shipments. The same year, Sydney businessman Balak Sade also met with Fradiano in San Francisco. The FBI took photographs of this meeting. FRATINO also associated with Australian Hungarian transport magnate and managing director of Thomas Nationwide Transport, Peter Abellis. Through Fraciano's connections with Teamsters and Longshoremen's Unions, particularly with Rudy Tam, a San Francisco Teamsters leader, Abellis was able to use his company to smuggle drugs in and out of the U.S., as well as reduce industrial tensions on the waterfront. Acting Boss In 1975, the boss of the Los Angeles family, Dominic Brooklier, was sent to prison, and Louis Tom Dragnell was made acting boss. He accepted the position on the condition that he run the family together with Fradiano. Fraciano accepted the proposal with the understanding that he would carry the majority of the responsibility. Soon after, he was approached by Dragna in regards to having Frank Bompassiero murdered. Bompassiero was one of the few made men that Fradiano trusted, as they were old friends and he was infuriated that the Los Angeles family would give him such a contract. At this point Fradiano felt that he was tricked into becoming acting boss, a position which required him to be transferred from the Chicago outfit back to the Los Angeles family. Because of his close relationship with Bompassiero, it was assumed that Fradiano could easily lay a trap and murder him. Fraciano stalled until the contract was given to other mob associates. Brooklier returned from prison in October 1976 after serving 16 months. After a transition period, he called Fradiano to a meeting sometime before February 11, 1977, and announced he was ready to resume his position as boss. Fraciano was once again a soldier. Last stages of Mafia career sometime between February 11th and May 16th, 1977, Brooklier summoned Fradiano to a meeting and confronted him about a rumor that Fradiano was running a separate crew in the Los Angeles territory and sang, Jimmy, you've got a bad mouth, like Bompassiero. In June 1977, 
Fradiano learned that Brooklier had started a rumor that he had never made Fradiano acting boss and that Fradiano was misrepresenting himself. Fraciano began to suspect that Brooklier was trying to poison his reputation within the Mafia, thus laying the groundwork for a sanction hit, or execution, of himself. Then at the wake for Tony Delzantier, Fradiano learned that the Cleveland family had a connection in the FBI, a clerk, that was feeding them documents about Mafia informants. James Licavoli told him that the Cleveland family had the code numbers for two informants and that the FBI clerk was working on getting their names. Government Witness and Later Life On October 6, 1977, Danny Green was killed by a car bomb in Ohio, and Ray Ferrito was arrested for the murder. Ferrito implicated Fradiano in the planning of the murder and Fradiano was indicted for charges related to the bombing. Fearing for his safety, Fradiano agreed to become a government witness against the Mafia. In return for his testimony, he pleaded guilty to the murder charges and received a five-year prison sentence, of which he served 21 months. In 1980, after testifying for the government that led to the racketeering convictions of five reputed Mafia figures, Fradiano entered the Federal Witness Protection Program. Fraciano claimed that the Mafia had a $100,000 contract on his life. In 1987, after he published two biographies, The Last Mafioso, 1980 with author Ovid Demaris and Vengeance is Mine, 1987 with author Michael J. Zuckerman, Fradiano was expelled from witness protection after the Justice Department noted that it had spent almost $1 million on the Fradianos in 10 years. On June 29, 1993, Fradiano died of natural causes in his home in an undisclosed U.S. city, believed to be Oklahoma City. His wife Jean had said that he suffered from Alzheimer's disease, as well as a series of strokes. Murders Fradiano had admitted to committing five murders. Frank Nicoli. Nicoli was a bodyguard and collector for mob boss Mickey Cohn. Following Jack Dragna's orders, Fradiano tried to convince Nicoli to leave Cohn and join Dragna mob, but Nicoli refused. In a few minutes, Fradiano and Joseph DiPolito strangled Nicoli to death. 1949 Frank Borgia. Borgia was a Los Angeles winemaker former bootlegger and was a member of the Los Angeles crime family, according to Fradiano. Borgia was resisting an extortion attempt from Gaspar Matranga and Dragna. Boom Passiero and Fradiano had a friend of Borgia's bring him to a house. Then Fradiano and Boom Passiero strangled Borgia with a rope and other mobsters buried him. 1951 Anthony Brancato Brancato and his criminal associate Tony Trombino were two young mobsters who were performing robberies in Los Angeles and Las Vegas without the sanction of the Los Angeles family. Jack Dragna told Jimmy Fradiano they needed to be clipped and asked Jimmy to set something up. Within a few days, Fradiano set up the two Tonys and killed them in their car. August 6, 1951 Anthony Trombino. See Anthony Brancato. August 6, 1951 Louis Strauss, Louis, Russian Louis Strauss was a former casino owner in Lake Tahoe, and a mob-connected man who was trying to extort money from Las Vegas casino owner Benny Binion, a friend of Dragna's. Fraciano set Strauss up by befriending him in Las Vegas, and telling Louis he had $10,000 cash in Los Angeles he would loan him. After driving to Los Angeles with Fradiano, Strauss then walked into a house, where Boom Passiero and Fradiano surprised him with a rope, and strangled him to death. 1953. In popular culture Fradiano is portrayed by Joseph Rickobian and Martin Scorsese's crime film The Irishman, 2019. References Syfok is Carl. The Mafia Encyclopedia. New York, De Capo Press, 2005. ISBN 0 8160 5694 3. Cyfocus, Carl. The Encyclopedia of American Crime. New York, Facts on File Incorporated, 2005.
ISBN 0-8160-4040-0 Remaris, Ovid. The Last Mafioso, The Treacherous World of Jimmy Fratiano. Bantam Books, 1981. ISBN 0-553-27091-5 The Sydney Morning Herald, the 16th of September 1979. Evidence Mafia already has a toehold in Australia. Includes photographs of James Fratiano meeting Balak Side Further reading Lewis, Brad. Hollywood Celebrity Gangster. The Incredible Life in Times of Mickey Cohen. New York. Enigma Books, 2007. ISBN 9781929631650. Maldi, Danny Dark Victory. Ronald Reagan, MCA, and The Mob. New York. Penguin Books, 1987. ISBN 0-14-010478-X. Neff, James. Mob Up. Jackie Presser's High Wire Life in the Teamsters, The Mafia, and the FBI. New York. Atlantic Monthly Press, 1989. ISBN 0-87113-344-X. Pitzel, Stephen. Fricker, Mary, and Muolo, Paul. Inside Job. The Looting of America's Savings and Loans. New York. McGraw-Hill, 1989. ISBN 0-07-050230-7. External links Jimmy Fratiano at Find a Grave.